Hello everybody, welcome back to Rito and Raps. Uh back to race the same maps, I suppose, right? Yeah. Not no yeah, no longer racing to the rat. Our minds can be free mm -hmm. and we can not think about uh purchasing items and just or going to secret floors, we just go. We can just autopilot that, our way to the end. That sounds fantastic. I'm ready to breathe in uh five three two one go. Mmm. Were you standing mm. at the door or in the middle of the main room? I was in the middle of the main room. You were standing at the door, weren't you? No, not at all. I don't know why you would possibly cast that aspersion upon my character. Mm. I actually wasn't, though. Mm. Sometimes I like to keep people guessing by saying something sarcastically, although it's true. <laughs> How many layers is this? Uh, two, we're, we're, at that point. We're, we're one minute in. We're one minute in. Yeah. But, but this is the episode where we can relax our brains so we can focus on everything else instead. I've been thinking that since we don't have to go to the rat anymore, we can finally okay. unleash the final 90% of the capacity of each of our brains. I was thinking maybe we should start work on the Fermi Paradox. During this okay. episode, I think we can nut it out. I, I, have, I have bad news. I was using all of my brain. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, I still am. So, uh-oh. Unfortunately, that... I'm using all my brain at all times, and what you see is what you get, my friends. <sighs> that explains why I'm losing so much. <laughs> Overclock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's running hot. Running hot. It would what be wild as hell your if brain? your head actually overheated when you thought too much. <laughs> oh my god. Yours doesn't? <laughs> no. Oh, no, man. my stomach did, just I turns. Get... I get hot when I'm stressed out, and when I think too much, I get stressed out, so, mm. uh... Kind of overclocking my brain. I just made myself get hit by a flail. I hit him with a chandelier, and it pushed him so his flail got closer to me and, and hit me. Yep. It's pretty... It's the... Pretty, uh, wow. It's the eternally sad story of Gungeon knocking someone in some way that they get imbued with the force of a thousand suns, and collide with your yeah. face. I don't know how it happens as often as it does, but... It's true. Props to dodge roll for the troll engine. It's true. What do you think dodge roll's making next? Ah... Uh, that isn't... Ooh. It's not It's not Gungeon 2, but they said they're, they're not ruling out coming, coming back to Gungeon. Okay. And they said that the arcade machine is not the new game they're working on. That's good at the very so least, I so I don't have to think about the arcade machine being involved in here. I think they're probably going to be doing a typing tutorial game for K to second graders. I'd be, I'd, you know what? I'd be into it for a little bit before I get disappointed that there's no way that I can make a hundred part series out of it. <laughs> Did someone say enter the gun dungeon? <laughs> Someone said enter the gun dungeon. <laughs> you know, like it's it's a it's a good it's a good little joke. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, it's exactly what it, I expected it to be at the time. Like, this is yeah, something that you'll play for a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah. I I I got a good uh, yeah. Maybe I, I played for like an hour on stream and like twenty minutes. Mm or 20 or 40 minutes for a video. I feel like I got all of my money's worth. Yeah. Definitely, definitely seemed like it on stream. But I would, uh, I, I don't know. I definitely, I want their next thing. Shocker. I would like if it was a roguelike. Mm. You know? I'd be into that. They said it has dodge rolling, but that could, that doesn't mean much. That just literally means it's made by their studio, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Whoop. Oh god, this arena! I, yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything. I was gonna let you live a life knowing, not knowing. For a few more moments. For a few more, uh, for five more minutes. Since I got here so so long ago. That lie doesn't work when it's only been four minutes into the video. No! Ah, no! I lost my helmet! No! Gatling goal! Stop! Fine, you know what? I've engaged, I don't give a heck mode with the Gatling Gull. I am standing directly next to you and firing into you until you are dead. I want to get to the next floor and I'm annoyed at you. Do it. Done. Do it. God. Mm. What'd you get from the boss? Uh, Frosty Bullets. 
Okay. Yourself? Nah, not as good as what I got. Ooh, dungeon blueprints. Absolutely. Mm. No, I got the same thing. I, I got frost bolts. So mine isn't just... as good as yours? <laughs> I mean, mine's in my hands. Step point well made. <laughs> Ooh, I may have found something you're not going to find. <laughs> the secret room in the elevator room? Aww. <laughs> Me, yeah, I won't find that. You're right. It's it's not that one. I didn't have the blank for that. I saw it on the wall. Because, or rather, I could see the absence of things that meant it was there. Uh, but yeah. I didn't have the blank for it and I didn't want to teleport back. Trank gun. What you, is a trank gun good? I feel like I've never seen it do anything. I've I've never seen it be good with its synergy. Like, I guess you can kind of use it similar to Crestfaller in it's not good in terms of damage, but it controls the enemy. So not good for a race. Mm. Maybe it's good like as an offhand just to have the enemy slowed and have their shots slowed and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd say so. It's kind of like like flare gun, I guess, in that way, but. It doesn't, it only is actually a Trank Dart with the Synergy, right? Uh, I think only its final shot is a Trank or something like that before that. And then it's a Trank on every shot. I'm not entirely certain. You can't quiz me on an item yeah, that I, number one, hate, and number two, don't use. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have it and I'm not seeing any, uh, any Tranking happening. Uh, maybe it's an on percentage? I don't know. Or not. It does seem weird that they would have a gun in the game called Trank Gun that doesn't trank by default. <laughs> yeah. Like, I almost think it's a bug, because I could have sworn that there was a time where, like, right away, right when the patch or the update came out, I feel like it did slow enemies, like, just naturally. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was definitely bugged at some point, and it definitely had a fix thrown through at some point as well. I... The holster... Okay, so we I are mean, like a hundred percent keeping pace with one another right now. I'm uh, I'm having a rough time on this fight when I normally never do. It can be a little difficult if you get out of cycle, right? Cool. It's true. It's true. My science cannon is invisible. I'm shooting a beam out of my hands. No, you've just been blinded from science. Blinded me with signs. I uh, the first time I heard that song was from the Jimmy Neutron movie soundtrack. <laughs> those those uh those kind of like Nickelodeon like early kids eras TV shows had some of the most banging soundtracks. Kids in America oh, yeah. was in the Digimon movie world soundtrack. It was really good. I, let me blow your mind. It was also in the Jimmy Neutron movie. It was in like every move, every kid's movie for a little bit. Cause the, like, it's like kids listen to it. They're like, hell yeah, I am. I am the kid in America. If you, both of those are things that are true. You're like, hell yeah. I, I have the, found I it really the, unfortunate. Yeah, you, you, you can't relate. <laughs> I can't now relate. Can't and relate yet it was still people. very, very popular. It's true. Well, it was, were the kids in America was popular in Australia? Yeah. Huh. I'm, I'm going to blow your mind. You, but a party in the USA was huge here as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was not very popular here. Really? <laughs> that is not true. I went, to a, I, went, I went to a 4th of July fireworks show, and that was like the keynote song that they played mm. nowadays. They're like, it's, we got to bust out the Miley to really show that we're uh, patriotic today. Yeah. It surprised me. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be there. People just don't know all the lyrics to that Star Spangled Banner. But you know what they do know all the lyrics to? Party in the CIA, the parody of Party in the USA done by Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, and they might be able to sing that along. So, might as well use that in the presentations. It's true. Were there any songs that you knew growing up way, like, you knew them first as the Weird Al parody? Oh, every Michael Jackson song? Is that every Michael Jackson song? Yeah. Okay, okay. Except for the ones he didn't do. <laughs> Never heard of those. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was my introduction to, or rather, Weird Al 
in particular was my introduction to so many different types of music. Like I think Weird Al was how I got into Modest Mouse initially, which is like really? what did he, long bow to draw. Uh, huh. he, he did, I think, float on in one of his poker medleys. Or was it a style medley? It, it was one of those kind of like off the beaten path of his like main discography. A deep cut Weird Al. It was a deep cut. He went on a whole ass tour doing just the, I think he called it the self-indulgent vanity tour or something like that, but it was just him I, doing I, deep I, cuts. Yes. Did you go? Yes. No, no, oh. <laughs> I did not go. But I, I do know, I heard it, I, or I heard of it. I just, the name stuck with me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I, I've been so removed from the Weird Aliverse for a long time, I feel like I'd be a poser. I, you know the, that, that thing that people do called gatekeeping, especially yes. in the music sphere, mm. you know? And how I, I always was like, that's not a thing that really happens, is it? Like... If you, but then I went to, I was at like just the, the state, I was at the state fair, and I was like, there's a band there that I just I I liked, I liked, and they're from where I'm was from, and I was like, okay, cool, I I want the t-shirt because it's also a cool t-shirt. I like some of their songs. They're from where I'm from, and then someone said that I was a poser because I couldn't name all of the members of the band like on the spot, and I was like, okay, I mean. That's fine. In, that, I forgot. I like the shirt. I forgot the part of every song where they start in the intro by introducing <laughs> themselves. Every yeah. single member. How's it going, Minnesota? It's Derek, Greg, Alfie. Wait. And our last <laughs> names are in retrospective <laughs> order. <laughs> Social security numbers to follow. If you didn't hear this part, don't buy our merch. Yeah. I mean, does it, like, I don't know. Why, like, if you really like the band, why would you want to stop somebody from buying their merch? Uh, I, I honestly think, like, a large amount of it is becoming possessive of that person as kind of, like, part of your identity and then deciding whether or not other people are pure enough to be part of it. It's, uh... Yeah, but, like, messed up. Make your own identity, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think, like, I I think a large amount of the people that do that are younger. <laughs> yeah, the person who did it to me was quite a bit older than me <laughs> at the God. time. I was, like, 13. What? And they were probably, like, and they <laughs> were probably, like, 20-something. I just played so... so awfully in that room while talking to you that I died. Is this the truth? This is the truth. It's a hundred percent the truth. I'm gonna restart That's the run. The sad truth. Oh well. All right. It happens. It's more a pod. Uh, oh. It's more a podcast at this point. It's true. You're a gungeon poser for dying. I am. I am a gungeon poser for dying. I can't name all of the devs of Enter the Gungeon, so I am a poser. Do you, do you, uh, real talk. Yeah. Do you know all the devs? Uh. Maybe. You know what? Let's let's go through them. Do you? All right. I, I know quite a bit of them. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with Ruben. No. <laughs> no? Close. Ruble? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's a currency. I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dodge roll uh, Dave? It's true. Uh, I'm just going to continue with the uh, alliterative. So Dodge roll Doug. <laughs> yep, Dodger old Doug, uh, he designed all of the animal companions. <laughs> all of the Doug-type enemies? Uh, <laughs> Not the Doug-type <laughs> he, he designed uh, Doug Trio, uh, uh, Doug from the movie Up, and uh, Doug, Doug from Funny. Hey Arnold? From the, <laughs> oh, yeah. Doug's Doug Bunny? Doug Arnold? Doug's Doug Bunny. Funny. Doug Funny. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Doug's Bunny. I was so I on board. I wish I said Doug's Bunny. I wish I said Doug's Bunny. <laughs> uh, and he was uh, the driving force behind getting Big Doug its own arcade cabinet. Oh, perfect. Back from when it was just uh, a manga. <laughs> was Dig Doug a mana? manga? Manga, rather? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, neat. You, you didn't know? You learn something new every single day. And sometimes you learn something that's not a lie. 
He's, what? No, but that wasn't a lie. Dig Dug clearly was originally a manga, otherwise you wouldn't have said it to me. Which is why I've got a fun fact for you of kind of like cross-media importance as well. Did you know that Mario Brothers actually started out as a throw cushion? It's true. <laughs> no. Most people don't know. No. Most people don't know. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I, my first experience with them was my shower curtain. Oh. I thought for sure. <laughs> yeah, that was a port. Oh, the, the shower curtain was a port of the yeah. throw pillow. So, like, all those those uh, those websites, like, I forget the number, Society, society whatever, 69, whatever, you know, 21, whatever what? the hell. Are those all ports then? Have, you know those websites where you upload one piece of art and then they make, like, you can make a billion different merch things out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sites on demand stuff. Like, Society yeah, 6, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, uh, d d d d Made Red for Bubble? Humans? Made for Humans? With the umlaut? Mm. Is that, does it have an umlaut? Am I crazy? I, I do not remember. I also don't know if it's made for humans oh, or designed poser. for humans or designed by humans or something like that. Weird. Dude, I think it's designed by humans. You know what? I've never been skeptical that it was designed by something other than a robot until now. Yeah. <laughs> now I. Feel Why would like, you specify? Now I'm conf Now I'm a little concerned. Or are they trying to say that our website? Because I feel like those websites like Redbubble and everything have like rampant bot problems, like where they just. Oh yeah, definitely. Google image search everything. So maybe they're trying to say, look, we don't have that. I don't know. Uh, I, I thought Designed by Humans was kind of closer to Spreadshirt. I think so. Just in general. I think so? Wait. Oh, uh, I get to do this Gatling and Gull fight again! Good. Whoa! Oh That's so rude! That is the rudest thing you've ever said to me. Good, you have to do this <laughs> fight again. I just want you to, to assert your dominance. You, you had a rough go around. I want you to get back in there, Slugger, and show them you can do a good job. You know what? I appreciate that. You believe in me more than I believe in myself. Oh, that's sad. No, it's okay. Well, I'll, I mean, it's... I'll win this fight based off of that belief. And then okay, that belief will uh, infuse me with belief in myself. You're effectively just uh, bootstrapping belief in myself. It's like yeah. how in Westworld, they had to bootstrap consciousness initially. And then the machines Excuse became me. conscious. Spoilers! Oh, I have I can I've considered maybe starting that sometime. <laughs> number one, I do <laughs> sincerely actually apologize. But number two, oh come on, it's oh, so I, old. I, I'm playing up the character. I, I will forget it. I'm I'm joking. I will forget what you said. Like it's already gone. I heard Sorry? bootstrap. What's I'll, already I'll gone? It. It's already gone. Bootstrap. I, I I heard that word and that's it. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never uh, even heard of a show called Westworld. I believe it. It, uh, it started out as a as a as a manga, actually. Oh, neat! Actually, wait, no. Where did the throw pillow come first? I don't know. <laughs> I think it, I don't know. Actually, went manga to uh, to merchandise for the manga as a throw pillow. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a weird okay. path to take. Uh, so I've got yeah, cigarettes here on the first floor, and I've just decided I'm going to become the luckiest man of all time while you win the video game, so. Excuse me, my channel is PG. I would prefer if you wouldn't talk about cigaroons in that way. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, I I have, oh, uh, I have the Pocky Sticks. <laughs> okay. Familiar? Oh, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. What is cigaroon? Like, I don't actually know the origin know of the word. I don't know. Doesn't mean I don't anything. Know. I don't know. No. Uh, <laughs> it means it means cigarettes in Gungeon. That's what it means. That's Half why the it's... stuff I say. <laughs> that comes from nowhere. That's why it's so difficult to understand. That makes sense now. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going every wrong way. I'm full clear in the fourth floor. I mean, it's not gonna matter, but like. I mean, I'm full clearing the I'll first die. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah. It's a pretty good floor. Right, I'll dude. tell you that. You nice. can get the teapot on this floor. It was a random drop, though. But uh, it's nice to have. Ooh. Man, it's like a shiny in Pokemon. Mm-hmm. What was your first shiny in Pokemon? And don't tell me oh. it was a Gyarados. 
Oh, I'm mad at you for insinuating that I would consider that heathen an actual legitimate shiny. Excellent. Excellent. No. We're on the same board then. Uh, it was a, a shiny slugma. What it, did you get? You get, you get anything? It's just like I, was so, the one that was like he was like silver. So I, I I have maybe caught three shiny Pokemon in my entire time. Shiny Slugma was my second. Oh uh, my, my first really? was Magby. Magby. Oh. Bred a uh, shiny Magby. Same generation as well. You wait. So you actually got a shiny Slugma as your second? Yeah. What on earth? I I'm not kidding. It was in that uh, that wrote with all of the. Uh, you know, you know the the, the tunnel, it, the, the bicycle, tunnel before the ashy place, bicycle path, right? The icicle path, the oh, bicycle okay, path. There's one. the oh, grass oh, up oh, the top oh. of a of a bicycle path that has a bunch of slugma in it. Oh, I think it might be adjacent to the town kid. where, like, you get your first magby as a trade. Hmm. I'm not entirely certain. This is like deep Pokemon knowledge for me because uh, I haven't played in a very long time. It's been a long time. I know I got my... I specifically remember the location. I was at my aunt and uncle's house. I was playing uh, Pokemon Sapphire on my Game Boy Advance on mm. their couch. Right before we were served uh, undercooked scalp potatoes for Thanksgiving. <laughs> was it printed on the label? Like, undercooked? Is undercooked the name of the brand? Uh, it's... Uh, it definitely seemed like it. They were, they were quite... Quite hard to bite. I remember this. Sorry, on Uncle. I know you're deep fans of my uh, mm -hmm. dungeon races with Rhapsody, and you've heard this now. They're also really, really proud of the potato scallop. So, indeed, indeed. <sighs> I don't know. This is this is heartbreaking for them, frankly. And they have to watch me lose. They're fans of me in this series as well, by the way. I I know. They're just like, you had to tell Rhapsody about our potato mishap. Yep. I don't know. Oh god. I need to find more blood so I can get more lucky. <laughs> My goal is just to get 50 luck by the time that you win. Okay. Go for it. Just get Vorpal Gun and then uh, breeze through the game afterwards. I got that the other day. Uh, Finally. Finally. A Vorpal Gun with a cigarette? With, with like maximum coolness. And I had Helix Bullets, which doubles the chance that there will be a crit. It was a mess. Helix for my eyeballs. What what gun I, I were you using? Oh, Vorpal. Whoops. The <laughs> Vorpal gun. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Vorpal guns, and I'm pretty sure that like, I I I only can assume that it doubled the chance that it was critting because there was two bullets or something because it was happening way more often than it ever had. And then I got the cigaroons, and then by the end of the run, literally every shot was a crit, and mm -hmm. my eyeballs could tell. Yeah, those those were awful times. I had to stop using the uh, antimatter synergy for the same reason. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, no, I I remember seeing that one got posted to the Gungeon subreddit. Oh, mm. it was a bad bad eye time. Bad bad eye time. That that synergy is really hard to look at. I mean, I'm so glad that they, in my opinion, buffed Vorpal Vorpal gun and Vorpal bullets by making the flash less aggressive. Yep. Very, very important to me. Because well, I couldn't, I just like, I couldn't actually use those items. I'm photosensitive. Like, yeah. I found. I think they were evaluating it a little bit around, oh, you know, this is a, this is the thing that will be triggered occasionally. But no one takes it unless you're triggering it constantly. Or at least yeah. more often than normal. So the effect needs to be turned down. Or rather it was. Yeah. And the, the thing is, since it happens randomly, it's harder on your brain. You know, because mm -hmm. it does. It's not. You're not geared up and ready for it. It's just. Oh shoot! There's a flash. This is triggering my body's response to not want to see it. Mm-hmm. Got to turn away. I like that they had the boldness to put an item in the game that just flashbangs the player, though. I mean, bold design. Yeah, it's bold design. Bold design. They did it so that I could have an item that I uh, every time I picked it up, somebody in the comments could tell me I was being a baby because my <laughs> I said my eyes would hurt if I used it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so glad. Go an extra layer deep on that argument, and then they can't do that anymore. Your eyes would hurt if I used that. <laughs> I would hurt your eyes if I used it. 
I would go out of my way to hurt your eyes if I used this item. <laughs> but now it's not a problem. <laughs> that just sounds like a threat. It is, that's why. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that makes sense as to why it, it sounds like a should have done a better then. job. It should have done a better job if it wasn't clear. Oh, uh, no! No! Okay, so the AoE from the teapot does not destroy the missiles from the beholster. I have done this testing so that you don't have to. Thank you. I beat the dragon so that you don't have to. Oh, thank heck. I have been waiting just so that I don't have to finish this fight. <laughs> you may uh, you may tab out. I'm walking up to the gun, but the dragon is dead. Ooh, I'm back in the breach of the fossils. I think that means I win. Oh, time. <laughs> Whoa. All right, you got in there just under the wire. No, I didn't even get time. You won. You won. You got back to the breach. Oh, beautiful. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you, mister. Mm. <laughs> gee, th gee, thanks, mister. <laughs> gee, thanks, oh, mister. Uh, gee, gee, thanks. <laughs> all I got to do next time is uh, not die, because I was keeping pace right up until then. Yeah, I yeah. think you. I think you were a little bit ahead of me until you died, right? Uh, it seemed like it. Based possibly. Off of the, the clues I was sort of getting, it kind of seemed like it. The the thing that I did is I picked up Sixth Chamber speculatively, like, oh, I might find something that this is good with. And instead I kept uh, it until I died. <laughs> so it's uh, just yes. a giant downside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've been picking up finished gun and not using it. What? So just, I've been like picking it up and I'm like, well... It's a curse, you know. Just <laughs> I, it's a, this is a this is a problem. I've done that in normal runs where I'm like, I'm gonna take this because it's like 50% damage up if I find curse bullets, and I'm not gonna use it because yeah. it's too good. But yeah, in this series, of course. I haven't I haven't done it. No, I didn't do it in this series. Oh, I good. Didn't do it in this series. I wouldn't do it here. I would use the hell out of it. Whew. But anyway, we'll find out who gets the finished gun. Sorry. Air bubble in my throat. Next time on Rito and Raps, race the same darn game. Mm. See ya. Links in the description for everything that matters and more. <laughs> See you next time. Bye -bye. See you next time.